Hey Facebook, I am live outside of the federal courthouse right now. There is where, in one of the courtrooms, Dylan Roof has been formally sentenced to death uh, for on federal charges for the Emanuel Amy massacre. Actually, let me flip you around. This is the bus that's coming to pick up those family members. There's that bus right there. That bus comes uh, to pick up those family members and today, Today, more than 30 of uh, family members and friends uh, actually had the chance to give victim impact statements where they spoke directly to Dylan Roof, not the jury, not the judge, directly to the person who murdered their loved ones. Um, a lot of them said that they uh, forgive Dylan Roof. Of course, we heard that back in bond court too. Several of them had said that uh, a few others, though uh, not of course everyone agrees, um, I'll, I'll give you both sides right here. The daughter of Daniel Simmons said, I want to extend to you a hand of love following my father's hand. The sister of DePayne Middleton doctor then said, uh, I wanted to hate you, but my faith tells me no. Not everyone uh, though on board with those themes of forgiveness. Uh, the sister of Taiwanza Sanders said he'll have to beg for that forgiveness. A daughter of doctor as well said, uh, you will rot in hell where you belong. Um, let's see, Susie Jackson, her niece said, I pray that your soul burns in hell. So it was a very emotional day once again in court. This is it though, you know, this is it for the federal trial. The judge officially, formally sentenced Roof, went on the list of charges, formally sentenced him to death on all those charges. Um, but let's see, we are waiting possibly for family members to come out and speak with us as well after they spoke to Roof, which geez would have to be one of the hardest things that you could do is talk to the person who, who killed your loved one. And um, it was also interesting of note too that Dylan Roof did not look up to anybody um, even when some of the family members said, called him by his first name saying, Dylan, Dylan, look at me, look at me, look up at me. And he wouldn't do it. Uh, one of the victim's husbands told me that he thought that he made eye contact with him, but I know that was frustrating to a lot of uh, family members is how he wasn't looking up, wasn't responding, was looking straight ahead, just again had zero remorse for what he did. So that is the latest from the federal courthouse and if we get any family members of course I'll be writing about it as well uh, if any of them would like to make any sort of a public statement about how trying these la this last a year and a half has been, we'll be there for it.